was going the other way. I'm already off over here. And we set and so there. Side to side, my head is off the danger line. If I touch him up when he throws back from here, like he's just been working, look at my head, changing the ranges. Well, that's where I can start coming right back in with it. Be on top of him, I could be out here coming right back in with it. Into something else, I'm making it goes. Like most mornings, like Ellis will run like the striking, I'll run like the, the grappling session, but we don't really teach like striking and grappling like most people do. We kind of teach them all as once. The striking's done with like the awareness of takedowns and taking people down, defending takedowns. The grappling sessions run with striking in mind. So like we're not really doing like stuff separately, we're doing it as one but like we're covering like different areas involved in, in like the training of MMA. Switch out on him. We've been looking for some South Coast attacks. South Coast. Sick having Paddy back in the room, he brings like so much energy back in and stuff and it's been a, a, a long time sitting out for him where you know, he loves training, he's in the gym every day putting his heart and soul into it. So it's good to have him back on the mat today and getting back into it. Plus having Paddy back, always a good atmosphere in the gym when he's in, uh, so nice to have him back and the ankles holding up nice. Yeah, well, I'm back in, as you can see look at my foot, yeah. Everyone keeps things talking about me and saying oh, he's not even injured then, look at that foot. See that, no scars, nothing wrong with it. Then look at that foot, loads of scars, and it's still massive. All you gotta do is look at them like that. Look at them like that next to each other. You can still see ones. Fast. I'm hoping to fight before the end of the year, and when I'm putting sessions in like that, I think I might be able to. It's just. I'm going to have to be able to walk 100% first before I can fight. <laughs> so, I know what I'm saying. But so, we're, um, so, yeah, if we were switching, so when we touch them up there and I switch out, we're going to be trying to get an attack from this position now. So whether that's how I'm having a little bit of moving first. Just been working today in today's session. So I'm sw stand switching stuff, using stands to switch, switch our ranges to get ourselves out of range, to get ourselves into range, to make an angle on our opponent. So we've just been working on that for like the last two weeks. In the fight, for instance, if you took a calf kick, you might have to switch your stance, so it's good to be well prepared with two stances. If he switches and he has his backhand and a kick to the body, that's the liver now, and he throws that load, and that's nice, so whether you're going to be going to the body or to the head, there's that backhand hard in it, like we were doing, what we'd be going to next. Everyone's in on a hot Monday today, we've been started off with some striking technique, going into southpaw drills, working the angles. The more MMA is growing, the more you see more and more at the higher level, different people changing stances to give different reads, to give different attacks and stuff like that. So that's what we've been trying to work in with the fighters. Just got back from Slovakia. This is me first day back in the gym, first day back training with the lads. It was boss over there and it's doing this octagon challenge. Team Ireland and we're against Team England. So I'm getting a few glares in the gym from the English lads. Nah, any messing. Scout's not English. You're only gonna land like two, three clean shots a lot of the time. So sometimes like the first shot, you need to understand that like sometimes the first punches you throw, like that one, two, one for instance. That one was like a showing in the face. So like more realistically, when you're moving around, you'll start to feel your land. Just the two of them, boom, boom, and I've made that nice angle. So I'm moving around with Nathan. I can start making that angle, and I'm already off where he doesn't get a chance to throw back, because he's got to reset himself. And you'll see that, with his feet there, so I'm already off before he resets. You've got to have that coordination and balance, so that's something you should be thinking to improve your striking. Not only your jiu-jitsu, your grappling, your striking, balance, coordination, and all that. So your job now is to touch your partner with any two shots. He's going to be throwing a right hook, a left hook, anything he wants back, really. And my job is to make sure I'm safe to maybe have something else behind that. Mother fucking Monday is first hour, always striking into takedowns or defending takedowns. But this is like New York weather. We're all acclimatising. Yeah, come on. It's good to have Paddy back on the mat. This is Paddy's first official session in the gym doing MMA. So he's done an hour striking with me and now he's working an hour MMA grappling with Paul Rimmer. So good energy in the gym this morning, sun's out. We're good to go. So on Mondays we do a lot of takedown defence work. On Wednesdays we do a lot of takedown offence work. 
but they're still doing the offense and the defense when they're, when they're doing it, obviously. So we're introducing some new methods of stuff that we've seen and quite came up with ourselves for uh, anti-back taking and getting yourself up in like better positions. So we're in like a week two of a six week block of kind of putting this stuff into the athletes at the minute. Uh, so we were focusing on the wrestling mainly, defensive and offensive on the wall. Um, the, the, even the rounds at the end was one was defending, one was attacking and even getting used to getting taken down and scrambling back up to your feet, that sort of thing. Cause we are quite good at our takedown defense. So you almost have to let your partner take you down so you can work the defense building back up to your feet. Paul, normally get over here, we actually let him get us down first and then stand um, back up. No, no, pull them up. Or just from stage yeah, straight up. up. Oh, shit. Now, see when he switches to the single, push yeah. him away with your leg. Now on underhook, get your head in, whatever you want to do to break the grip. So today we're doing a lot of like wall stuff, guys, okay? so how to defend on the wall, how to get off the wall, reversing, and attacking. Obviously, like Ellis will see some of the takedown stuff I'm doing. He'll include that in the striking classes. I'll see some of the striking he's doing. We'll include that in the grappling classes. So like everything's done, like I say, in blocks where people get the <clears throat> the chance to learn it, absorb it, and then start to actually get to practice it. Towards him now, Mong, yeah? Because yeah, yeah. if he drops you there. Ah, I'm just saying to Pad as well, you know who you grab me around the waist? Yeah. And I do this. Yeah. Like, make sure you're like hooking Extends it. So there's back. no, like, you can't move past that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then use your knee if you need to. So, if you get me across in this position here. Yeah, now go hook that leg. Now you don't try and get past that leg for me, Jordan. That. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking we, 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 when we had them doing it then, I was thinking, so where you there, where Wilson gets his foot in front of me, I'd have to get this foot at least here to do anything. Yeah, you know what I mean, literally. That's what I'm saying, if you hook that yeah. now, look, you're facing it. Uh, yeah, like what I was thinking before, the only way I could get past there if you'd done that was if like, I literally knocked that out the way. You yeah. know what I mean? That's the only way I could. And then your hands are separate. Yeah, then hands are separate. Just working all common positions today, it was more about getting back up to our feet and defending against, you know, they were fighting a grappler and they're trying to take us down and take our back, working our defences to that, so obviously in here we're all both taking the back, but the reason we're so good is because everyone in here is also sick at defending the back, so you've got to level up your attacks and your defences each time to sort of keep up with people, so yeah, boss Monday in the bag. You know what, for a fact what I'm thinking of doing there. Oh, he's lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't jump over. Lost it. <laughs> That's a practice. That one's a practice. Yeah, that's that one, a practice. That one's all right. It's done about 2,000 years over the years. Like best ever to... one, though. The best ever one. Ellis. The best ever one. And Eric to do with it here was when oh, when he stabbed him. He was back going. Ellis was going to do vents here because Rim weren't there, <laughs> and he just went <laughs> boom and put the needle <laughs> all the way <laughs> through. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the needle come out the other end, and Ellis. Ellis pulled we'll wait for Rimbro. <laughs> so today we do like bigger, bigger glove, full pad sparring. The sparring is more on the feet on Tuesdays. On Thursdays we do like more little glove sparring. Paddy's first one back, he looked good for like two rounds, and he uh, starts to feel that fatigue that comes in. It's really, really hot today, but he's done a good job, he's done a really good job. Today, good little spars. Paddy was back sparring, as you can tell over there. You can see him on the floor, half dying. <laughs> Paddy's back in that the atmosphere as well. He's fucking his usual self, fucking talking a load of shit, lad, but that's it. So, yeah, it's good to have him back, lad. Jumped on me, done my first little bit of the sparring. Got the boxing gloves on, shinies on. 
do a little round that. It was nice, from a nice little technical round then. I was very, very tired and I probably should have sat around out. And instead of sitting the fourth round out, I went with the little cardio machine, the juggernaut, Gittins. And I, t I took him down like a minute in and thought, yes, I'll keep him down here. I'll, I'll just hold on to him. And he just pops straight up and just put it on me for four minutes. The ankle feels good, to be honest. Um, as I say, Gittins put it on me. So in that round, when he put it on me, he had me against the wall and he kicked me my weak foot out and it felt it's quite strong, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't lift the deck, I didn't fall. Um, it feels okay. He took a little bit of skin off me ankle there, but that's about it. So we crack on. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Next week, we're going to show you how we did this.